Okay. Another redox example. <laughs> we already pre-wrote all the charges, right? So, because you are fantastic at charges. Okay, so now let's see. What is the reducing agent? Manganese, that's right. It's the one that gets oxidized, so it has to be the reducing agent. <coughs> Nitrogen got reduced, so it's called the oxidizing agent. Okay, yeah, get that clear in your head somehow. Okay, so now let's write down, we got Mn2 plus goes to MnO4 minus, and the other one is... NO3 minus goes to NO. And by the way, we're going to go for both the acidic <laughs> and basic answer. Okay? Alright, let's do the top one first. Manganese is already balanced, so the second step is for oxygen. We'll put plus H2O. And how many H2Os do I need? Four. Four, because I have four here. So I need four over here. So that looks good. Now, I third step is for hydrogen. I have eight on the left, so I need eight on the right. Okay. Now let's watch carefully this part so you get it. On the left-hand side, the overall charge is zero plus two, two. or two. Okay. On this side, it's eight times one or eight minus one seven. 8 minus 1 is 7. Is that okay? So 7 and plus 2. So I need to add how many electrons? 5 electrons. Okay? Alright, now let's do the one in brown right below it. Nitrogen's already balanced. We'll go to step 2, which is with the oxygens. 2 uh, H2O. That will give me three oxygens on both sides. Next step is with hydrogen. I have four H's on the right. I need four H plus on the left. Now, let's see what's left. The fourth step, last step in our half reaction balancing is with electrons. The right hand side overall charge is zero. The left hand side, 4 minus 1 is 3. So I need 3 electrons. Okay, now is where we find our least common multiple, which is? 15. Yeah, 15. I got a 3 here, so I'll multiply it by 5. And I've got a 5 up here, I'll multiply it by 3. Thus I have 15 electrons on both sides. And the electrons will be gone. We need electrons to cancel. And the rest is just kind of adding it up. So, add it up. We have 4 H2O. Oh, th I got to multiply by 3. It's not. It's 12 H2O plus 3 Mn2 plus plus. Uh, 20 H plus plus 5 NO3 or nitrates going to 3 permanganates plus 24 H plus plus 5 NO plus 10 waters. Okay. Hopefully, I didn't make a math error. I think it looks okay. Okay, I don't see any problems. So now let's do some cancellations. We've got water. Water and H plus are the typical ones that cancel. That's usually what you're looking for. Most, I, I would say with rare exception, anything else cancels. So we got 12 here. Over there we we'll have 10. Two. Yeah, let's scratch out that one right there. Pretend it wasn't there. Okay? And then... Hydrogen. How many is left? Four. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. 
Let's scratch out that two there. Save a little ink. And there we go. So this is going to be the acidic answer. I'll just rewrite it so it looks a little nicer. So we have 2H2O plus 3 um, manganese 2 ion plus 5 nitrate ions plus 3 permanganate uh, plus 4H plus plus 5 NO. And I'll put a little star by that. This is going to be my acidic answer. Let's do our basic answer just for fun, so you can get more practice. How many OHs will I need to add to each side? Four. Yeah, you got it. Four, because there's four right here. So I just find the H pluses, I've identified them, and so now four OHs to each side. Add that up. It'll be two waters plus three manganese 2 plus ions plus 5 nitrate ions plus 4 hydroxide ions go to 3 permanganates plus 4H plus and 4OH minus is 4 waters make sure you don't write 8 waters uh, and then 5 NO okay I think I transcribed everything correctly Again, we want to cancel whatever can cancel. In this case, it is. You got it. It's waters. All that's gone. There's only two left over here. So I'll rewrite it again uh, in nicer form. So we've got 3MN2 plus plus 5 nitrates plus 4 <coughs> hydroxides goes to 3 permanganates plus two waters, plus five uh, NO. And this, now, my very bottom one here, that's going to be my basic answer. Okay? On an exam, you'd be asked for one or the other, usually. Any questions on that?